Can you think of an event that has happened to you during your career that seemed devastating at the time but ended up being a blessing? Devastating at the time, definitely. Um, I remember taking my music up to a, a record label. I was probably like 19, and um, I thought it was like the dopest stuff out. I'm like ready, like, yeah, I got me a big label meeting. And um, I get there, press play, and the A&R was like, nah, that's not it. Listen to this artist. And this was the artist that was hot at the time, you know? And I was like, okay. He was like, go back, make one of these songs right here. And I was like, all right. Boom, went back, made another one of them songs. Press play, he was like, well, this song is out now, so you probably gotta make it one of, one of these records now, you know, because this is number one. And um, what it made me feel like I wasn't good enough you know, because every time I come back, you know, I'm a kid, I don't know. You know, you think a record label is this, you made it. You know, so every time I come back, I feel like I'm not worthy. And it was devastating because it put me back in the threshold, like, am I built for this? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Am I good enough? You know, so it was devastating at the time, but I'm glad it happened because it gave me my own avenue of doing what I feel is right, rather than being compromised to what other people's standards are. And it gave me my separation. It made me unique. It made me Kendrick Lamar. And it made me have a debut album, Good Kid, Mad City, that people can you know, respect and know who I am rather than a hit song.